The freestanding stalls housed in a warehouse-like structure filled with someone's discarded and another's acquired treasures await Sunday morning's greeting. Royal Oaks Flea Market of regional fame is open every Sunday, where 100-plus vendors sell on a rotating basis. It opened as a truck market at the corner of 4th and Troy Streets on October 14, 1925, as a cooperative venture between the then new city of Royal Oak and Oakland County, Michigan. The present structure was erected in the spring of 1927. Dirk and I have been visiting the flea for years as a ritual to walk off Sunday breakfast. The merchants stand for hours with gathered goods to sell, but for me, the goods are the vendors themselves and those who shop, dicker, and exchange stories. Hi, my name is Ray, and I'm at the Royal Oak Flea Market. I've been here since mid-90s when I got my break. It was supposed to be a temporary thing. 15, 16 years later, I'm still here. Through the years, I have met phenomenal people. This Royal Oak Market is a melting pot of every walk of life, and you never know who you're going to meet. My name is Mark Diskin. I do a lot of different things. I collect musical instruments and odd and unusual antiques. I work here at the Main Street Pawn Shop in Pontiac, and I've been a dealer at the Royal Oak Flea Market for over 20 years. The Royal Oak Flea Market has been around for a long time. It's a well-known market. It also seems to attract probably the wealthiest and most knowledgeable people in the area. So as a dealer, it's a challenge to find some of the most unusual things that are around. Also, if you find something that you don't know what it is, usually within an hour or so of putting it out, someone will walk by and tell you exactly what it is. Here we have some of my favorite bird houses. Um, this is my pride and joy. She is just wonderful with the little fancy ear bobs. I call her Rosie the Robot. I look all over for the little gadgets and gizmos to dress her up. It's the piece of functional garden art. Now, I started fooling around with my photography again. A friend of mine told me, try Royal Oak Farmer's Market, which is a flea market on Sunday. I said, they're not gonna buy my photos. He said, give it a try. I tried, I've been here two years now, and I've been doing pretty good. Detroit Lux, we're new to the area. Um, we make uh, all of our popsicles, they're all our recipes. Um, they're all natural. They're made with fruit, um, ice, and the cream based ones have an ice cream that's made with only sugar. Um, but they're probably the best things in the market for you to eat right here. So I've been at the antique flea market here for 25 years. My mom and I started out doing this and she's passed on now, but she was an antique dealer. I actually started this as a way for retirement. I was looking for something to do a couple of days a week and this turned into something that uh, has really taken off. And uh, uh, I really enjoyed doing it. Uh, my most unusual customer is an older gentleman who collects old medical devices and really gets into them and I think takes them home and tries to use them. Currently and recently was um, uh, uh, an actress and I cannot see her name. Andrea, what's that Eva's last name that we were talking about? Mendez? Yeah, she was in about a month ago, six weeks ago. And that oh, was interesting, because I'll tell you, she is a nice woman. People, uh, well, can I, can we take a picture with you? Sure. It didn't turn out. Take another one. Sure. She was a nice woman. And what did she buy from me? She bought a sequin hand. And then from William over there, I understand she bought 15 gowns. By far the most interesting customer has been Dr. Jack Horky. Um, we were friends before this, uh, before starting here, and then we became a lot closer. There was an interruption in our time, of course, but uh, probably the most interesting was Dr. Horky. Every time you see something that you think is really something, five minutes later something walks by that makes you forget about what you just saw. A man came up to my table and he saw that I was selling daguerreotypes for $25. But I had a sign that says I buy old photographs. 
So I would buy them for $10 and sell them for $25. And he came to my table and he said, do you, do you want to buy some? And I said, yes. He says, I've got four at home. I'll go get them and bring them. So he brought them over to my table and I gave him $10 each for them. One of them happened to be a dwarf. And I sold it for $500. Now I wish I had it because it's probably worth $5,000. It is a giant family within the market. Being here is like, sometimes it's a lot of work, but if I'm not here, you can feel like I'm missing something. Stay with my mountains blue when I feel this way.